Okay, so today I'm going to get you up and running with Sega Model 2 using Retrobat. It's a fairly easy guide and I'm going to show you how to access menu settings and get you some better visuals. So check this one out. <laughs> Okay then, so first things first, if you're new to my channel and you like this video today, just hit notifications for me, it really helps my channel out a lot, and also be sure to subscribe. So let's get into this, so Sega Model 2 is arcade based games, by Sega obviously. So what we're going to do first is just head over to the Retrobat shortcut, which should be on your desktop or wherever it's placed, and just go to open file location. Let's firstly go to Bat GUI. Like I always recommend, this is the easiest way to find out which file extensions is going to work with Retrobat. If you don't see any of this, what you can see on my screen right now, then it's likely you haven't installed DirectX all in one. So anyway, once we're under system, just go down to model two. And as you can see just here, Retrobat is actually just asking for your games to be in a .zip format. So it's very easy, pretty straightforward. So let's close this down. And inside of your file location for Retrobat, you've got your ROMs folder. If we go inside of this one and just search for Model 2. And here we go. So just drag your zipped game inside of here. And you can now open up Retrobat and the logo should appear. So as we can see, M2, this is from Model 2. So if we go inside of this, let's firstly get some artwork for this. So main menu, scraper and scrape now. And that should take just a few moments to gather the art in the preview video. And there we go. So scrape and finish, update game list to apply changes. So we go to game settings, update game list and really update. Okay, so there we go. We've got a preview video with this one, and we've also got the artwork for this one. So if we go to view options, advanced system options, under emulator, we have a couple of different types here. So if you've got a, say, dual core processor or anything over a single core processor, then multi-CPU is going to be the best way to do this. If you've got a very old CPU, which has just got one core in it, then obviously single CPU. I'm going to leave this to auto because as we know, Retrobat detects the next option next to auto, which is multi-CPU. So let's actually just open this one up. And the first thing you're going to get is the emulator is not installed. So let's just press yes to get this installed. Start your engine. So let's just exit out of that one. As we can see, that plays just fine. I'm literally just using my left and right analog stick to control this and my back right bumper, which is using as the gas button. So very simple to set up this one. Let's go back to advanced system options and just alter some video settings. So shader set, I'm going to put this one as I always do to enhanced. And just to make a note, for old scores out there who prefer something like scan lines, you do have an option for this here. So in fact, let's go for scan lines for a change. And then finally, we got decoration. So that's entirely up to you. With this particular emulator, which is being used by Retrobat, we don't have an option for a 16 by 9 ratio. So you're probably better off with default unglazed if you've got this one. I'm just going to go for none for this. And if we go to video mode, you can then select which one of these options best relates to the screen that you're using. Again, auto normally detects the best. So I'm going to stick with my 1080p 60 hertz, which is what my laptop screen runs at. And let's go back into this. I'm going to show you a bit more about this emulator, how we can access a menu whilst in gameplay. Select a race for beginner. 
Please choose manual or automatic. automatic. Start your engine. Okay, so sometimes you might need to go into this menu, and to do this, I'm just pressing F2 on my keyboard. Okay, so this is the menu you're going to get if you press F2. So you mainly need this menu to go into games to set up alignment issues if you're using a light gun, which of course Retrobat nowadays also supports. And Sega Model 2 has several light gun games on it, so you might need to access this menu. Like I said, you can do this by pressing F2. And to navigate this test mode menu, I'm just pressing F1 to go down. And that's how you select each option. And to go into one of these, I'm going to just press, say, F2. And that's going to let me go inside. And again, F1 is going to just take us down. Now, say, for example, we want to put our game on a harder mode. I'm just going to press F2. And that changes the option. So let's go to exit. And let's go to exit again. Please select a race course. Now, should you get any issues uh, when you're opening up a game and it says anything about network, then all you need to do is just use F1 to go down to the game system option. Press F2, of course, to enter into this one. And just make sure, if you get this issue, that link ID is set to single. In this case, for Daytona, it's already on single. But that's likely going to be the case if you get that network issue. So that's it from my Sega Model 2 setup guide today on Retrobat. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you like what you see, hit notifications. It really does help my channel out a lot. And it also gets you the most recent content for Retrobat, Batacera, Launchbox, and several other systems that I cover. I'm also on social media. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And also be sure to check out my new membership option. And also check out my store. But until next time, stay retro. Mm -hmm.